Yes, so uh, we are still uh, discussing lambda calculus and there is one concept that we need to discuss because it uh, comes often up in the discussion on functional programming and that is to say currying. Uh, any function which takes n arguments can be converted to a function with n minus 1 arguments and so on until all n arguments have been removed. And this technique is called currying, named after Haskell Curry. And as you may be aware of, Haskell is one of the better known functional programming languages. So let's take an example here to try to uh, uh, see the intuition behind this. So if we have the sum of 1 and 3, we can write it as 1 plus 3. In lambda calculus, we would write, write it as plus 1, 3. Or if we would uh, uh, use the... If we would try to derive this string, plus 1, 3, we would uh, end up with parenthesis open, parenthesis plus one parenthesis closest three and then finally uh, the last one closest. Uh, why why am I saying that it could be written as plus one three or, uh, or or in the latter way that I showed here? Uh, recall that the uh, contest free grammar for uh, lambda calculus uh, one of the rules said that expression can be uh, two expressions inside parentheses, where basically we are applying, this is function uh, application. We have a function on the left hand side and this is the argument. So if I try to derive this string plus one three, I could say that What I have on the left hand side, an expression on the left hand side, can be another expression. I'm basically doing leftmost derivation now. I changed this expression to another one, another function application, and then my first, the leftmost expression can be a constant and the second one can be a constant as well and then a constant can be remember one of the possibilities is to have a, a predefined function so that could be plus and the second constant can be a numerical one and then the expression here can be a constant and finally I have let's say the constant 3. So this is uh, how I basically derived when I when I try to derive the string I end up with this expression and that's what I have here on the right hand side. I mean what I have as, as the second uh, possible possibility. So what do we have here? What does plus one really mean? Well we can look at it this way that plus one means a function which adds one to its argument. So inside the um, the parenthesis, I have a function which takes the argument 3 and it adds 1 to it. So what I've done is to take a function which takes two arguments, the function plus, which takes two arguments, it takes uh, the, the argument 1 and the argument 3, and I've converted it to a, fun uh, a function with one argument, the function which adds 1 to its argument. And this is the, this is the basis for the technique uh, called currying. So we can say that in general the function f of x comma z may be written as a new function 
uh, g of x inside parenthesis and then y and then f followed by set. So g of x it returns a function which takes y as an argument and the result of that is a new function which takes set as an argument. So first g of x is a function that takes this y argument and th the result of that expression is a new function which takes set as an argument. So just to give another example, um, if we have a function f of x is equal to x times x, or x squared, in lambda calculus we can write it as star xx, or if we would try to derive it using the uh, contest-free grammar, we would get star x inside parenthesis and then x. So star x here is a function which, which multiplies its argument by itself and then we send x to that function. Uh, we will come back later to currying when we will, we will, we will discuss uh, the programming languages ML. Now, what I have here uh, in the coming slides are exercises, uh, a few exercises for simplifying uh, lambda expressions and I actually suggest that you do them by yourself but just to get you started let's do this one the first one so this is uh, and we're, what we're gonna do here is called by value so we have a, a, a lambda x here that notice that we have a green left paren that starts here and ends over here so everything inside the green parenthesis is a lambda abstraction and then y is an argument to that lambda abstraction so let me actually go into a text editor here and here i have this expansion i use backslash for for lambda i have lambda x and i have lambda y and my whole uh, lambda abstraction is the one that I uh, just marked here, and then I sent y as an argument to it. Now, as I've said earlier, it's often good to try to simplify uh, the expressions by removing unnecessary parentheses. So, for example, if I just remove the outermost paren, I'm not changing anything, so I can safely just remove it. Uh, that's my first step. Uh, then I'm sending the y argument, uh, I'm sending y as an argument to the lambda abstraction here. So the formal parameter x will get the value y. So what are we supposed to do? Well, we are supposed to remove the lambda then remove the lambda and notice I'm removing the left paren as well and then I can safely remove the right paren as well I remove the y because I'm doing function application and everywhere that I had x because x is the formal parameter I will put y instead Now, uh, what do I do next? I have an expression here, plus yy. So I can evaluate that expression and I get 2y here. And then I can safely remove these two paren here. And now I see that I'm sending 2y as a parameter to this lambda here. So when I do that, I remove the lambda. Let me copy this first. I've removed the lambda 
and everywhere I have y, I will put 2y instead. So I'm also removing the argument, so I have a 2y here. And finally, this will give me 2 times 2y, which is 4y. So this will be the result. And this is what is actually is, uh, given here on the slide. And this was called by value because I, I evaluated the argument uh, at every stage. Now the second here is um, is called by name, and I notice that I'm getting the same result, but the difference is that when I have an expression here, which is a which is a function uh, that expects two arguments plus y y, instead of evaluating it, I send it as a, I, I delay the evaluation, so plus two y, sorry plus y y becomes an argument to this lambda abstraction. So I'm not evaluating the argument, I evaluate it as late as possible. But I get the same result. And uh, let me actually do this one as well and I, I suggest that you do the last one yourself so let's take this one and I'm gonna use backslash for lambda so when looking at this expression one has to try to figure out what is a function definition? What is a lambda abstraction, as it's called, and what is an argument? So, for example, I have obviously a function definition here, and I have an argument here. So, we're sending 7 as an argument to that function. So, let me start with that. So, when I send 7 to the ar as an argument to the function, I remove the lambda. Every time where I had y, I put 7 instead, and I remove the... right paran and the argument. So I have uh, now I have a an expression here on the right hand side and I have an expression on the left hand side. So obviously I have a function definition on the left hand side and I have an argument on the right hand side. So, and let me actually, because I, I want to simplify things by removing parentheses, I'm going to remove the first parenthesis and the last one. I haven't changed anything by doing that. So, if I copy this, and what I want to do, I want to evaluate the argument. Minus 7, 3 is obviously 4. So, instead of minus 7, 3, I'm just going to put 4 here. So now I can see that I'm, because I'm doing call by value here, I'm sending the argument 4 to the function, and what do I get? Well, remember, the formal parameter is x, so every time I see an x in the expression, I substitute it with the value of the formal parameter, and I drop the lambda. So I start with dropping the lambda, and I'm dropping the argument, I'm removing the argument itself, I'm removing the uh, right paren, and I was supposed to put in the value 4 instead of the formal parameter. Notice that the formal parameter was x, and I put the argument, the value of the argument, instead of the formal parameter. So that's why I got 4 here. And then finally I can see that I have a function definition, or lambda abstraction, and I have an uh, argument which is 5, so I send 5 to that function. What do I get? I remove the lambda, and the formal parameter is y. I remove the right parenthesis and the argument, 
but instead of the formal parameter, I put the arm argument, which is five. And then finally, what I, you can see, I have uh, nine plus four, five.